Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, but more importantly, welcome to the first ever season of The Bachelor, but make it The Sims. This is my Bachelor Challenge Let's Play, and while I do use a more cinematic style and add dramatic scenes, I am actually playing the challenge. So our Bachelor this season is the hot but basic Elliot McNeely. Elliot was born and raised in Willow Creek, so he's got those good old small town values, and while Elliot's broness and sense of adventure have kept him traveling the world up until now, he is finally ready to settle down and meet the love of his life. So Elliot and all of the ladies will be living here in the beautiful bachelor mansion created by GabbyCake0769. Thank you, Gabby. I could literally never. So let's go ahead and meet the ladies. Single lady number one is the lovely Stephanie with an F Mulligan. Stephanie is a regional manager from San Sequoia, and she has spent most of her adult life climbing the corporate ladder and focusing on her career. And although she is relentlessly ambitious and very type A, Stephanie does have a warm side and she's been waiting to share it with a lucky man. So I think that ultimately her challenge will be letting that side of her show. But given the looks of that hug, I think that Stephanie has already made a good first impression with her glamorous black dress so good for you Steph all right uh lovely lady number two is Cecilia Day Cecilia is a lawyer from San Maishuno who describes herself as a down-to-earth kind of gal even though uh, she's lying she is definitely extremely high maintenance she's a snob and she only likes to eat the best food so this is a girl with expensive taste and very little self-awareness so I think we all know exactly what kind of girl Cecilia is going to be this season. So lady number three is Lena Weber. Lena is, you know, she's the girl next door. She's an athlete. She's that girl that's super pretty without ever trying and everyone loves her. And she comes from a very close-knit family, although they're not exactly happy that she is on TV trying to find love. But either way, it's clear that Lena has made a wonderful first impression because Elliot already seems to have a crush on her. So good for you, Lena. Can't say I was surprised. All right, so then we've got lady number four in a hot dog costume. This is Eve Lee. Eve is not like the other girls in the house, okay? She is unconventional, she likes sports, and just like our bachelor, she is a bro. And although she has thoroughly embarrassed herself just now, she did seem to make a funny first impression on our bachelor. So I think it just goes to show you, sometimes try hards do succeed. But Eve also struggles with intimacy, so we'll see how she does with that later on. Beauty number five is Brianna Lombardo. Brianna is chronically single, but only because she's the one frequently breaking hearts. She's a free spirit, and she's never really liked the idea of being tied down, but for whatever reason has decided to take a chance on love on The Bachelor. You know, it couldn't be the cameras or the fame or anything like that, but let's be honest, it probably is. And she's not here to make friends, okay? She's here to win the heart of The Bachelor. Number six is the currently sad and nervous Allison Huber. Allison is a caring and loving lady, but she is currently battling deep, deep clumsiness and she is quite insecure about it. Allison really struggles to talk to adult men in real life, so she's hoping that having one who is basically forced to talk to her is going to help. So it looks like our bachelor has tried to comfort Allison and remind her that he's here to get to know her, and I think that's really sweet. So I think her struggle is just going to be making space for herself amongst the other girls who are a little bit more cutthroat. And finally is our rootin' tootin' number seven, McKenna Howdy. McKenna is a sweet little southern belle, and she will never fail to mention what a country girl she is. So she cares a lot about her family and freedom, and she's got charm, fishing, and God on her side. So it is clear that McKenna has already enchanted our bachelor, um, even though she does seem a little awkward. So I can't wait to see more of that chemistry. So now that we've met all the ladies and they're inside a gabbing like besties, I wanted to go ahead and let you know in depth how this is going to work. So I will be playing this challenge as the challenge is stated and adhering to the rules. I have made a couple of changes just for the sake of ease. So for example, I'm using the help of club systems and have made sure that these ladies only objective is to get to know our bachelor, be flirty with him and be mean and conniving to each other. And then along with this every day, each lady will have an opportunity to interact with the bachelor 
uh, based on the suggested pop-ups, that first pop-up when you click on somebody, rather than having each of them do the same generic kind of social. So depending on how these go, the ladies will rise or fall in the ranks to find true love. And at the end of every third day, eliminations will take place based on who has the highest cumulative relationship score, with tonight being the only exception because first impressions are everything, okay? And somebody has to go home. Okay, so here we are. Elliot is giving his first speech of the night and all of the ladies are toasting to him and it looks like he was going to go sit by McKenna but Lena was actually the first person to get up and go grab our bachelor to try and chat so she's out here telling her whole life story within a matter of minutes because you know she's got some traumatic story to tell and really seal the deal in terms of getting our bachelor to emotionally connect with her so the other ladies in the other room are clearly not happy about this and are already mocking her because, you know, bullies are always jealous. Um, but Brianna has decided that enough is enough and she is going to go steal our bachelor away and make her mark. Being, I've lived there for three years now. Hi. Hey. Excuse me, princess, but the queen is here. Okay. Clearly, um, Lena is not happy about this, but our bachelor has still decided to go and talk to Brianna a little bit, get to know her. And while Brianna was really hoping that this was going to be her moment to shine, there is no way that Lena was just going to let that fly. So she has come back to claim her territory and she is here. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to interrupt. We were just only had a few minutes earlier and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more. Sorry, I just really think we need to finish our conversation. So while this is all going on in the other room, um, the rest of the women are still talking, getting to know each other, and just trying to, you know, find out what the dirt is, what the lowdown is on everyone. But meanwhile, Allison decides that she's going to start playing piano for some reason, and naturally, all of the other girls thought this was, like, super weird because she's just being really depressing and strange, so they left to go make some drinks and talk in the other room. Um, something to know about Eve is that she is in the culinary career so um making drinks is something that she knows how to do really well so it also looks like mckenna and cecilia have become fast friends and i'm starting to wonder you know are there going to be alliances formed which girls are going to like each other and which won't but either way the drinks were just a ruse because eve has used this to gain some liquid courage um, because she's about to go and find our bachelor who is currently stuck in between the drama of Brianna and Lena. So here she comes. She is rescuing him from all of this, and it does take her a minute to jump into the conversation because clearly it's been so riveting. But she does end up getting our bachelor, and he agrees to go off with her. And I love this little moment between Lena and Brianna because they're just, like, giggling and smiling, but you know it's in a mean girl way. So anyhow, in the other room, Eve had pulled him aside because she brought a gift from home. <laughs> Good one, Eve. Uh, she decided to do a prank gift, but you know, he loved that. He thought it was really funny. So it's clearly working for her, this whole like funny girl, not like the other girls kind of vibe. That's the facade you got going on. And I don't know what kind of issues you got. A facade. And that's in us. Facade. Brianna is she's gonna fight she is gonna fight her that's just the kind of girl she is the others have run into the room to witness what's happened and they can't believe that there is already a fight going on the first night now in the real bachelor they probably get kicked off but this is the sims okay and anything goes here yeah Pamela Bodie Bahrain Rusa Neeb follow Rudigodi Pippa Wada Flufarain Yibs Chobaba, Fuibo, Wanabi Choba, Washushu, hmm. Baba, Wifeloi, Chobaba. <laughs> so Elliot and Eve have no idea what's been going on in the other room because they've just been chatting and laughing, but McKenna has stepped in because it is time for her to get some private time with Elliot before the rose ceremony tonight. So they've decided to have a drink and still kind of having some like awkward interactions, but who knows? Bamboofa. <laughs> Solly Bumbo. Solly Boof. Plaga Oofa. Whiffle. Yips. 
Ah, uh, bon bouffa. So Eve is over here celebrating with Stephanie and they're toasting to friendship and love and just really getting ready for the last interactions of the night before the rose ceremony. So this is when I am talking about having each of the girls getting a chance to have a social. And again, this is based on what first pops up. So some like I gave everybody a chance to do a social, but a lot of this also is starting to happen autonomously. And so some of the reactions that you see are real. So you know Allison snuck in a hug there and it really pissed off Brianna and then Eve comes around and just plants one right on Elliot and this is where shit starts to really go down and she even gave him a bro hug immediately after which I thought was hysterical ugh Volkay So Allison was obviously not happy and just slapped Elliot right in the face. A body for rain. Woo sunib. Follow rue. The goatee. The bipiten. Flu for rain. Yibs. So it's finally time for the rose ceremony and the ladies are feeling all different types of way about it. I've included a picture of their relationships with Elliot and if you use UI extensions you can actually see like the number scores that they have so that's how I've calculated who is staying and who's going home tonight. So they're all very anxious and they've all got pretty close relationships going on with Elliot and it doesn't help that he literally has amazing compatibility with all of them. So Elliot is here talking about what a tough decision he's had to make because, you know, being The Bachelor is not an easy job. It is very difficult to be rich and handsome and have a bunch of ladies at your fingertips. So this decision has just been tough. It's been heartbreaking. And now he's got to decide who his first impression Rose is going to go to. I mean, it's Lena. I don't think any of us were shocked by that. He had a crush on her from jump, so Brianna's not too happy about it, but Lena sure is, so congrats, Lena, on your first impression, Rose. And then in second place, it was actually Brianna, so she doesn't have to be too upset. She got the rose immediately after. After this is McKenna. It looks like her country charm really did charm Elliot, so she's still in the running. And then we've got Stephanie, who I knew she was going to be in the lineup, just wasn't sure where she was going to be. And then we've got Eve, who is looking mildly uncomfortable, <laughs> but I think it's just that struggle with intimacy. And then Elliot, you know, he's down to the last two. This is so tough. It's going to be between, you know, Allison and Cecilia, and he's just not sure because he likes both of them. You know, but ultimately he's made his decision and he is giving the rose to Cecilia and Allison is pretty upset about this, but that's the bachelor, babe. So Cecilia got a rose and Allison went to say her final goodbye and, you know, Elliot's trying to be still really sweet and charming, but it's clear that Allison is just not interested anymore. I mean, she just got rejected in front of everyone. So there goes Allison. Ta-ta for now. And Elliot is now making his second speech of the night, you know, toasting to the fact that he's got all these beautiful ladies and he is ready to fall in love. So that concludes our first episode of The Bachelor. I would love to know who you think is going to get the boot next week, where you think this drama is going to go. But we are down to six girls, and I am super excited to see who is going to win the heart of The Bachelor. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.